Hello everybody, it's Rhino and I am here today at Disney's Hollywood Studios to take you on yet another shopping adventure. So I figured we'll do our usual thing, start in Mickey's of Glendale, go up that street, cross the street, and then down, um, down Sunset Boulevard over there. So uh, before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce here. So check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. I feel like I took a really deep breath before we started, so now I feel out of breath right now. But it's also very, very, very hot here at Hollywood Studios today. It doesn't feel particularly like super crowded. I mean, there is definitely people in this park, but I don't know, walking around has been sort of manageable so far. Of course, now that I've said that, I've probably jinxed my day, but uh, so hopefully that means our shopping journey will be painless as well. So I am literally like drenched and covered with sweat. I think wearing a jersey was probably not a great idea, but uh, let's, let's get started then so I can go enjoy some air conditioning. Um, let's do it. All right, like I said, we're gonna start at Mickey's of Hollywood. Hollywood. -na 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 -na. Hollywood. I feel like this Dwell Be Well collection is forever gonna be here. Although I don't think I've seen this pet bed before. Relax and recharge. My dog will love reading that. He's a big reader, both of them are. $45. It's actually not as much as I thought it was going to be considering how much pet beds are at like normal stores, but there's little toys here. I was like, what character are they going to have to rip out of these things? They're just little squishy bags. This is weird. I don't know. $25. Portable pet bowl. This one is $20. All right. So I'm going to take a look at this Numio wall because look, my favorites are here. Nick and Judy. I did get both of these, because you know I'm a sucker for Zootopia. But look at his cute little eyes. And plus they come like fully dressed and everything like that. But they're both $21.99 each. I feel like I got them for $20, but I could be wrong. But there's a sale right now for $10 each for their outfits and accessory when you buy three. And there is plenty of outfits and accessories. Look what they even have. It's the uh, Lunar New Year outfits that I believe the Chip and Dale ones were wearing at Disneyland Park which is $12.99 normally. So I don't know how big that savings really is, but yeah. Look at, hey guys, loved your movie. Where are the Rescue Rangers outfits for these guys? Did they make those? Somebody tell me if they did. This, I, one, don't like this pattern, but two, look at this. That's like normal. That's what it's supposed to be on it. I don't know what they were going for here, but guess what? It's $36.99. Jumbo beach towel for $27.99. Still have that Toy Story collection. I haven't seen this hat. Toy Story Land. Oh, I like that they're under the rim there. For me though, $30. I don't really do hats that often. When I lose my hair, I'll be a hat person. $14.99. There were these park pals. Oh look, so the box converts into like the ride. This is series two. And then here are all the figures you can get in there. Okay, I know that's not Simba, I think that's Kion, but yep. these are, again, blind box stuff, $10. Where's your sheriff now? Oh, that's not the line. It's where's your boy now, sheriff? I like how angry he is. Oh, God, and I just dropped him. Well, he's going to definitely murder me in the, on the way home. I won't even buy him, and he'll still be in my car somehow. Uh, I feel like I've showed this bag before of this, like, Weird kind of boxy Toy Story Land sling bag that you can switch sides on. But I feel like it should be able to become a backpack. So I feel like there's a little bit of a missed opportunity here. But this is $34.99 Toy Story Land. I played there. <coughs> there's these uh, Alien Remix figures. So they're like all dressed like different Pixar. I like the Miguel in the back. Or the, the up one is cute too. These are... $30 for this set. There was lots of Pixar and Buzz Lightyear stuff in there. Of course, the movie's coming out soon. So we're moving on to Keystone Clothiers, which is where all the Marvel and Star Wars stuff is on this main street. We'll see if there's anything new in here. Got the Marvel Pride hat and the shirt in here. This hat is $29.99. I do like their symbols on the back. It's nice and simple there. And then there's the T-shirt. 
I wish it didn't have the words, though. Like, because they don't really mean anything to me. Power, heroic, courage, strong, protect, bold. Also, strong feels just, like, kind of, I don't know, it's like buzzwords or something like that. But this is twenty four ninety nine for that shirt, so it's actually a little, little cheaper. But there's a little lounge fly to go with it. Ah, this is $75. I cannot seem to grab this one correctly. There you go. And then this shirt, which is all those logos on the white. I think this is honestly the best one. This is $60, but then like, if you look on the inside, all the words go down, down the inside. So I like that, how they used it in there. I am an idiot. There's literally the test model right here, see? Also, I, see, like, I like this sweatshirt, like how it just is marble, and then it has them down the sleeves. And it's nice because this is like a thinner sweatshirt, and it's on both sleeves, which I like. Um, so, like, for me, this one's also a winner. This is $65, and I can't keep buying sweatshirts. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. This might sound facetious, but literally, like, last night, I was thinking to myself, I need the, the Thor Stormbreaker. Um, this like Hasbro Legends series. Uh, like I actually do really want this. I got uh, Loki horns and Loki's staff the other day. And so I was like, I need this to go with it. But I feel like this is like, this is a little out of my price range because this is like $200. Let me check and then I'll, I'll let you know. But um, but yeah, this is my, this is my like, it's $180 here. I think it might be cheaper on like Amazon. Um, but this is on my, like, wish list. Too much, though. Too much money. It's cool, though. My friend has it. I see a couple. I, I got this. This is one of two spirit jerseys I now own. Craig and I match. We both got it. I just like the white with the red down the sleeve. And then I actually got, um, this jersey, too. Because I have the white one, and the white one, I feel like I sweat so much, was getting dirty, so I had to get this one. And this one was less than I expected it to be. So let me, let me see if I can find a price in here. No, nope, here we are. They ripped all the prices off because my guess is they just raised the price to like $60, but I definitely got it for like 40 at Disney Springs. This is a heavy duty mug. Sports canteen, $50, good God. This Captain Marvel shirt is kind of cute. So it's like Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, Mr. Tree. Hulk, Gigantic Dude, Thor, Black Panther, and Cosmic Avenger. I feel like that's a New Jersey Avenger con. That's fun. That's cute. This is $36.99. I do like, I do like that it has these on the sleeve. I like the cut of that. And there's uh, America Chavez's jacket, which is not completely screen accurate because technically this should have the, the, um, the triangle part here. Um, and it's she, hers has words all over it, but I can... This is cute. $80. Good God. $80. And they've got a backpack to be modeled after her, too, which feels kind of cheap. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's... $40. Okay, I was going to say if it's over $40. No way. Oh, they got hats, too. Those are cute. These are... $30. And then I actually think this jacket they have for her is actually really nice. This is a Her Universe jacket. Of course it is. Again, I feel like Her Universe currently makes the best Disney merchandise there is out there. And of course I'm biased on that, but I don't know how much this is. $75. It's nice feathery light material though. I like it. They have the Boba Fett rearmored helmet here, which I actually do really like the rearmored helmet because that's the one that is on um, the book of Boba Fett but I like the darker green color everything but Obi-Wan shirt I'd get it just because it has Ewan McGregor's face on it even though it is super like iron on and plain $36.99 it is actually pretty soft though and then here's a Death Theta one and I believe that one is the same price $36.99 and here's some of the Star Wars Pride collection too which I do like the button down but $59.99. I just feel like this black looks a little washed out is all. Here was the spirit jersey they did too. And then it says, believe, be long, and be proud. I actually think maybe this should have been black. I don't want things to be in black because I prefer them to be in lighter colors, but I don't know. The white looks like it, it makes it look just a little bit cheap, I feel like. 
It's a hat, too. And it says Pride with the Disney D on it. <laughs> Star Wars on the back. That is $30. I do like this water bottle, though. It's a, you underestimate the power of the dark side. Later on it. I like the shape of a water bottle. Either way, that's $20, too. It's not bad. It's got the wide mouth on it, too, which is easier to use at the refill stations. All right, that's Keystone Clothiers. Now we move on to Sunset Boulevard, where dreams are made and destroyed. All right, we'll start with the sparkle on Sunset Boulevard here at Legends of Hollywood. But look, there's new... Uh, I don't know if these are new again, but the Wally one's pretty cute. Buzz Lightyear. ears. Well, derpy Buzz Light ear, but let's go in there. The way too expensive coach collection is in here, and other things. I When I first saw this out of the corner of my eye, I thought for a second this could have been a power line jacket. I feel like it was a missed missed opportunity. I don't know. It's nice that it's light and stuff, but meh. Here's the back. It's a great day. I'm on fire. I think I have a problem. It's okay to be sad. Don't talk to me. Mm-hmm. Let's see how much it is. Just out of curiosity here. It is $60. It's a 50th anniversary dress which is 128 and this, I actually, it's Ms. Marvel. It's very cute, but it's the exact same color palette of the Doctor Strange dress that they did. I know this because my friend Jill has it. Good is not a thing you are, it's a thing you do. Oh, I'm excited for the show. I have not seen either of these before. This Mickey and Minnie black and gold sets. I am gonna definitely knock this over and be asked to leave. $150, get out of town. And then this sweatshirt that feels really incredibly rough. It looks nice, but it's rough. 75, get out. This headband is $750, no thank you. And then there's that $100 pop socket. I think it's like a hundred bucks, I don't remember. Blah. Next we have Sunset Club Couture. I don't know if there'll be anything in here. This one's been disappointing me lately. I don't stop and look at ears often, but I walked by these ones really close and I feel like I hadn't seen these ones before. A little cute, I believe those are Jared Mariama's designs. Those are $40. And there's a Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway bag, which is actually pretty cute. It's gonna get dirty. That one is 85. I was gonna say I like this, but then it's like, it's a crop top. I can't pull those off. I can't be that guy. I try, I try. like it's 1984, but I can't. I just can't do it. I don't have the body for it, $50. I do like that they are creating all these matchy outfits, so it's $50 for the sweatpants as well, and if you want to do the mini one, you can. Look, and then there's a Stitch and a Simba one as well. There's a smaller version of that, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway bag too. This is $50 for the clutch. Oh, it's not a clutch, it's a wallet. Hold on, let's see if I can pop it open. Lots of compartments here. I can see more and more of these, the $16.99, $16.99. These like uh, money clip, RFID blocking money clip ones. This is a stitch. This is more of the crazy expensive Tommy Bahama shirts. This one is, I'm guessing this is at least 130. 150, dear God in heaven, to have this kind of money. There's some more of that pride stuff. I feel like I'm okay with the Pixar ones since they're the first people that kind of were like, yeah, we need to be better. And we've tried. But they um, donate 100% of the proceeds from this line this year to LGBTQ uh, organizations. Fifty four ninety nine for the sweatshirt. Let's take a look just around here. I don't love the design. I don't know. I don't hate it. I like that it makes it pop. But this one is $75. Again, I just, I'm just i just me. I don't like uh, black shirts. I do like this t-shirt, though, a lot. This one's a little more subtle and nice. And that one's 30. That's surprising. And then you have little, little matching shorts down here. It's cool. There's a pop socket. Chopped his ears right off. $16.99. You got yourself your pins. Those are silver priced. There you go. I like that they're diversifying the pin collection so it's not just the rainbow. Is he, you know, BB proud or just a regular proud? $14.99. Also, I like that BB-8 has become the gay mascot for Star Wars. You'd think it would be C-3PO, but here we are. And then there's a throw blanket. 
$39.99. Oh, look, they made a smaller little like clutch version of the bag for $40. Here's some of the magic bands. See, if they did the Marvel one like this, it would be cool because I like the symbol. Well, I like how they did the symbols on this one too. Bronze. I don't know how much anything is. Can I just put prices on stuff? This one's eleven ninety nine. It's like a little Pixar luggage. I forget the word for those things. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. And then here is the Pride mug. Twenty four ninety nine. At least all the merchandise is kind of consistent in its color scheme. Okay, so I got this T-shirt. I just want to talk about it really quick. It was twenty four ninety nine when I bought it. Still is. It's so. Whatever size you normally wear, get a size up. Because it was, like, skin tight on... Uh, I normally wear, like, a large. I've been put on weight, and now I'm kind of more in an extra large. But it was definitely, like, a medium. And um, it's terrible, though. Then I washed it, and now it's the type of shirt, like, the second you wear it, it, like, stretches out really bad, which sucks. Because I love this quote, and I love that there was finally a Nick, uh, Nick Wilde shirt. So, bummer. I haven't seen this one before. This is, like, a little pop-up. Stitch. That one is $85. So I'm not crazy about anything I saw in there, um, but I think I am just gonna do a quick lap around the park and maybe check out some of the other stores that I usually leave off of this list. Um, so why don't we go down to Tower of Terror and just see if there's anything new in that gift shop, but I am not certain there will be, but we'll see. All right, let's do it. The Tower Hotel gifts. Yep, just as I suspected, a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff. And I'm sure Nightmare before Christmas. Oh, there is a robe. It's a black robe, too. This one actually looks nice. Better than the ones they have for the resorts. I don't know how much this is. Where are you? I think their price tag's been ripped off of this. Sorry. Sorry, gang. Just same old, same old. You can get your hat here still. For $21.99. Let me share. $36.99. Mug. $14.99. Raglan that I believe is for a girl since it looks a little short. $39.99. And a bunch of art over here. With this $140 Mickey is Indiana Jones mug. And then these like keys. Okay, the one good thing to coming out of here is there's Goofy with a Hawaiian shirt on and Max just walked through over there for some weird reason. Bye. 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 Bye, friend. Yeah, I, um, I am not one who enjoys this gift shop very much. I think this area is beautiful. I wish you could have a, a party, like a cocktail party up there someday. That's, a, that's the dream for me, but I find it to be like something I like the idea of it but it never has I feel like it's very little actual themed merchandise and the rest is just kind of feels just thrown in there but it's also kind of obnoxious because they put like I get why they have to do it they put the display at the other end of the store where the ride exits but it's impossible to actually like get and look at the haunted mansion stuff because there's constantly people just groups of people kind of pushing through right there so I just don't like the flow of it not a fan not me I know I'm going against the grain there but yeah I don't remember if I called it Haunted Mansion or if I just said there was Haunted Mansion stuff in there, but I am aware that was the Tower of Terror gift shop. Also, I'm sorry, sorry to Denny Sunderly specifically, but I'm not going into the Rock and Roller Coaster gift shop. The last time I was in there, there was literally not a single piece of merchandise for that. So, onward. Storm's coming. Storm's coming, Annie. I can feel it in my bones. All right, we're going in the Star Traders, Tatooine. Star Traders. I don't know if that's the official name, but it's the name I've given it. Let's do it. It looks way too crowded for me. Ugh, what am I doing? Why? 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 Why are there so many bucket hats? $34.99. Also, I have the top to match these sweatpants, so it's like, should I get the sweatpants? Skywalker Academy? I can't. It's a crime they don't sell the, uh, the top because it's such a soft sweatshirt. Again, it's a crew neck, but it has the pouch in front of it. These are... $50. There's this whole series out now that's all like the action figures that are on stuff. Vader, it's useless to resist. Security services never underestimated. And like vintage action figures. So the sweatshirt is $60. The shirt is $36.99. And then there's a spirit jersey to go with this too. But they're all on the back. Oh, oh, oh. What's that say on the sleeve there? Collect them all. 
And then this one is, I don't know, large. The, the water bottle is fun. $27.99. And then this bag is a lounge fly bag. Oh, look at that on the back. Best fun. Also, it's a sling lounge fly. I haven't seen that before, but that is $75. Nah, nah. It's been brought to my attention by my friend Ken. This looks like bubble bath. So this is supposed to be like a bubble bath bottle, I guess. Doesn't mean I like it anymore. This series is kind of cool too, where it's like the uh, storyboarding aspect of it. Would it like change it? This one, this would immediately be covered in sweat right here if I were to wear it. That is $36.99. And then this one is $36.99. It is starting to rain, so I am walking back toward the uh, main strip over here. I realized I forgot to go into the other side of the street, so I'm gonna do that really quick before I end this video, and it starts just just raining again. You see this one random like landing strip of a cloud coming this way where it's raining? So it's one of those days where it's gonna be sunny and raining, and that makes a sauna, and this body was not meant to thrive in this heat. So. I am gonna uh, do this one, these last couple of stores, and then we'll uh, finish up here. All right, let's go in here. Adrian and Edith's head to toe. This is where they had all the 50th anniversary merch, and it looks to be all the same that was in here the last time we were in here. Boo. Except for, look at this little guy. <gasps> it's the bank, like I have. Oh my God, but this is definitely inferior to the original. But it is straight up like, it's as close to as you want. And then it says the 50th. Aw. I feel like I should get this and like put it next to the one I have. That's so cute. $20. Aw. The shirt. Oh, it's actually really nice and soft. This is $60. I thought this was that like crazy expensive one, but I don't know what a 10 centennial is. Is that 10 years? So we did five years because that was the bicentennial of America, which you can get the merch over there. And now we're into the tencennial. I mean, I like that idea that they're gonna work through all that stuff, all the different anniversaries and things. I don't know if they were celebrated at the time. I mean, the bicentennial of the United States of America was. $44.99, go back on the shelf where you belong. And then here's the Woody statue. Are they gonna do a, a, a rocket and a Groot of this? Oh my, this box is very damaged. Somebody like me probably dropped it. I didn't, just so we're clear. This is $100. You can go right back on this shelf, too. I thought you were 50 Here's another Tencennial shirt. I don't think these are going to hit as well as the other stuff. $36.99. And then this little Magic Kingdom lounge fly. This one is... Ah! $85. Ah! Dropping it. Oh, there's even more Tencennial merchandise. I wonder if there's going to be 15... Oh, you know what people are going to lose their mind for if they get to the 25th anniversary and it's all the cake stuff. People will go crazy. She what's these are $36.99 and they, I thought they were gonna be that shiny thin material. They're like sweat pant rough sweat pant material. I don't know if I saw this jacket before last time but American Parade this is because it was 1970 the year 1976 $100. It's a nice quality jacket. I don't know if I've seen this before either. This is $60 but this is like 71 Patterns, 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 patterns. I feel like I haven't seen this before, so it's new to me. This is a $70 music box. Do they move? That's gonna be the real question. So let's wind it up. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, so this hurt to turn, and I also don't think it's working, because like, two of us tried it now. I think their legs might do a but for $70 and it already doesn't work in the store, that's not a good sign. But you can get another Starliner, Mickey. Walt Disney World's $20. Okay, a young lady just came over here and showed me how to do this. You have to open the drawer and that's how they get it to work. I don't know if I've seen these before. It's like figures. Blah. These, the $20, I guess. Wait, okay, there's two sets, because this one is 50. 
and then this one says 20. Why wouldn't you get, why wouldn't you get the $20 one? It has Chip and Dale in it. Ornaments. Oh, these are ornaments. Cause they go on the tree. They're more expensive. I feel like I put that down too aggressively. Here we go, 50th anniversary tapestry woven. Oh, it's a wall hanging. This isn't even for like you to $150. Get out of town right now. But if you get it in the blanket, oh, this is still, oh, this is the throw. That's the wall hanging, I see. This one's 85. Just get this one and hang this one on your wall. Save yourself, you know, what does I say this one was? $65, save yourself. Cookie jar. So they have the castle. They have the Epcot. This is clearly the best one. This one. This one's like, I'm not even going to touch it. So, sorry, I don't know how much it is. These weren't in the Tower of Terror gift shop. These are $40. This is interesting. Considering it's also for an iPhone 12. Those are the three Spider-Man. Also, there's a magic band to go with that collection that we saw earlier. Guess what? Amethyst. That's how much it is. I'm not a pin guy, but I do like that you can get just the symbols for this one. $17.99 too for six pins and they like, they look really nice too. And now it is downpouring outside. So I regret coming in here. Oh well, I'm never gonna make it out of here. Say <sighs> la. It's that time of year though. Rainstorms every day, so come prepared. Bring an umbrella, get some uh, fold of ponchos that you can shove in your bags. They're like a dollar at, you know, Target or Walmart or wherever you're, uh, they're, they're less outside of the park than they are in the park. But uh, I just wanna thank everybody for coming with me on this uh, shopping tour of the park. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please don't let my moodiness about the weather taint your opinion on it all but if you do have any questions i'll answer them to the best of my ability but as always thank you everybody for joining me here and i hope that you have a great day and i'll see you next time goodbye everyone